Hello there. Welcome back to the Cinema Asylum Podcast. <laughs> you good? <Yeah. laughs> okay. Uh, uh, today we're going to be reviewing Venom The Last Dance. I'm Dylan, uh, one of two superhero and sci-fi experts. The other one's not here, though. <laughs> Nerd. Because he hasn't seen the movie. Yeah, what a butthole. Um, I am Garrett. I'm the Indian drama expert. I'm Paul, the horror expert. Yeah, I was going to ask. Yeah. I, I, you were the one that was most interested in how you thought about this movie. Yeah. I, I had so much fun rewatching all the Spider Man movies leading up to the new one. I had a great time doing that. So, yeah, um, we're doing Venom the Last Stand. That's the main review. Now, I, I, I didn't know if you wanted me to go first or if you wanted to go first since you're. Uh, are, are, do we want to go spoiler free at the start? At the start, yeah. Okay. 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 So, Wait, start. Uh, let, let's just go around the room like this. Okay, sure. Go ahead. Head, head. Okay. So, yeah, I had a lot of fun rewatching all the Spider-Man uh, movies leading uh, lean up to this one. Um, it didn't do very well in the USA, but globally, it did fabulous. It made $175 million total. So I think a lot of that is due to apparently China or one of the um, – some Asia, I guess, loves these Venom movies for yeah. some reason. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure why exactly, but they. Oh, I know why. <laughs> they they nearly drove the first of them to like a billion dollars um, w- when that came out. Um, huh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it was very close to being a billion dollar film. Um, the huh. first of its kind uh, nearly got the record until a year later. Joker actually crossed it. So uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah keep going. But, but yeah, but uh, I don't want a woman because it's Venom and it's Spider Man's biggest villain, so that's the reason why uh, they went to go see it. So <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> so yeah, going into this movie, I was expecting uh, dumb, awesome fun like the first two. Now, I'll get my quick reviews out of the way of the first two Venom movies. The Venom movies, uh, the first one, it, it, it's stupid, it's, it's dumb, it's stupid. But in a great way, and I love it. it I, I loved it for what it was. I was very skeptical okay. about it because I thought to myself, Sony Universe, really? Which I'll complain about that later. Um, <laughs> but uh, it made $800 million, and I happened to love the movie, which I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, Let There Be Carnage was, for me, a little bit better than the first one. It's it's still like the first one, like <laughs> ridiculous in all its way. But the story was a little bit better, and Woody Harrelson as Carnage doesn't hurt. Uh, and he was great. I, I love him as Carnage. Okay. So going to the Last Dance, which by the way, I love the title. By the way, Venom: The Last Dance. That might be the best movie title ever, at least for me, anyway. Um, it reminds me of how many times we heard the Last Dance. Um, at least two or three of them said the Last Dance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty funny. So I was expecting to see this movie to be dumb, awesome, fun, and I got exactly what I wanted: dumb, awesome, fun, and I love this movie and all of this ridiculous way. Now, is the plot great? Absolutely not. The plot is not good whatsoever. But you know what? I don't care. Uh, for me, Tom Hardy and Venom's relationship has always been the best parts of these three Venom films. I love the action. I love the visuals. I still think it's very fun. Uh, the third act finale, which we'll get to later. Love the third act finale. I thought that was very fun and crazy and ridiculous, which I personally enjoyed. Uh, I thought the other characters were very fun. Uh, they don't bring a lot to the story, but <laughs> you don't really care. <laughs> uh, because you were just here for the Venom uh, Venom action, and you got your Venom action. You got what you wanted. Um, there's so many... <laughs> so many hilarious things that we'll get to in a moment. <laughs> Oh, boy. We got a lot to say. But yeah. overall, I had a fun time watching this movie, and I loved it for what it was. It's not a comic masterpiece. It's not. It's not going for the comic book perfection. It's really not. If it's fun, it's fun. I, this is my turn off my brain and enjoy, the, the, enjoy my kind of film, yeah. which um, why can't you do that, Garrett? Because I <laughs> want. Just, because I'm just I want, wondering. Come on. Because God I want damn. movies. Because I want movies to actually try harder. Not is, fair. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, sure. No, so I I'm. Um, I am not a fan of these movies. Uh, I am not really a fan of any of these Sony Spider Verse movies that they've tried outside of the live action ones. Of course, uh, don't even. You can't even compare the actual Spider Verse movies to any of these. Just <laughs> the fact <laughs> that they came from the same studio. Um, yeah, 
when I saw, well, when I first heard that they were doing the first Venom movie, like the Venom spinoff, I was like, okay, maybe they can actually try to do something like pretty like dark, like vent, like Logan did, where they go like maybe R rated, maybe they kind of do it like a body horror type of thing, and maybe actually take it seriously and to do it better than what Topher Grace was in Spider Man Three. Um, and then uh, I heard how much Sony was interfering with it and turning it like originally. Venom was only going to be in like maybe 10 minutes of the goddamn movie. Um, and that was like early reports and stuff. Like Venom was, g- it went through like a bunch of changes and I was like, this movie is going to be a disaster. And, um, and then like all the trailers came out. I was like, okay, Venom is going to be like the forefront of this. Um, and I saw the movie and I was like, I hated this. Um, when I first saw the Venom one, I really uh, had a bad time watching it while everyone else apparently was having a Ouch. good time with it. Um, I thought it was boring. I thought it was, I thought the comedy was weak and um, I, it was just not my thing. I hated the villain. The villain was so boring. And I think, the, uh, these all three of these movies have a huge villain problem, but we'll get to that. Um, I think I kind of like I like I enjoy the whole Tom Hardy and the Eddie Brock and Venom thing more with each movie. That's kind of like the only thing that really saves it for me, because um, <clears throat> I think this mo- these movies are a terrible uh, usage of Tom Hardy's acting talent. Um, I mean, he's fun to watch, and Ouch. he's fun. He is an amazing goddamn actor, and it, he's more. He's so much more than what these movies are using him for. I mean, watch him in Bronze, the uh, the Charles Bronson movie that he was in. He, the man, is Oscar caliber, and uh, the movie Warrior. Uh, I need to which, watch that. Which is amazing. amazing. He's he's I absolutely an incredible that. actor, and I and it just. It seems like he's doing like the Johnny Depp thing, where it seems like he these are the Eddie Brock role is what he's going to be remembered for, and that's so disappointing to hear. Yeah. Um, and I mean, he's fun to watch in them, sure. Uh, it's just I I I don't like that side from Tom Hardy nearly as much as like when he actually really goes for it and he's actually taking it seriously. Um, and um, yeah. L- like I said, the Venom thing is is the kind of like the the thing that keeps me from hating these movies because it, it it's enjoyable to watch uh, for the most part. It's just um, I cannot give a shit about uh, the the stories in any of these movies or the other characters, um, even when the movie really tries to make me care. Um, and that goes a lot for uh, this uh, the Last Dance. Um, I enjoyed thoroughly uh, the Eddie Brock and Venom uh, dynamic. I thought that was, for the most part, very fun to watch. And there, it, I was laughing uh, for the uh, for the majority of their scenes, but uh, could not give a shit less about uh, she would tell Edgy for in this movie. I couldn't give a shit about Juno Temple. Those two are amazing actors, and <clears throat> the movie. This is one of the worst paced movies I've seen all year. <laughs> yeah. Um, the pacing of this movie <laughs> is ridiculous. Like it's so quickly paced to the point where I don't know what to really care for, what to think of each scene because um I'll get to more into that with the spoilers cuz there yeah. I have several examples, but like I don't know, I just whenever it cuts away from Eddie Brock, um I just had a really tough time caring really um because it just felt like it was not i it was either taking itself way too seriously yeah. or it was a like a like a Abbott and Costello movie which i enjoy the Abbott and Costello part more of yeah. these movies um and i just don't like when these movies actually try to take themselves seriously and i think the carnage one um which i still don't think is that good of a movie but i it seemed like that one had a more consistent tone. I was like, okay, we're, this is clearly a B movie. We're just going to have goofy fun with it. And this one, while I think it is not, I don't, let me say, I don't hate 
the la- the last dance. I don't think this is a terrible movie. I think it's I think it's very average. Like uh and I just feel like the tone is just way off in this one. It, it, I feel like either it it is trying to be like this huge emotional send-off for this these characters that I just don't really care for um or or it's just or it's just really being super goofy and super chaotic, which I I'm fine with. Um, I just don't think it's the right balance. And um, yeah, that's those are my basic thoughts. I, I, I was going to okay. respond to the horrible pacing thing. I the I, pacing is I, awful. I, 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 I I'm sorry. I it's like that, it, every no. scene goes by so quick. It's like, do you want us to like? <laughs> like have a feeling it just yeah. feels like uh i'll get more into that <laughs> Bro, but i go- i'm sorry but the last sony universe movie they did this year months ago had a worse Honestly, pacing if than you... this movie it's not even close <laughs> madam i'm not madam web is far 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 worse yeah. don't get me wrong but yeah. like i think the pacing of that film was the pacing was slightly better in that because it just with this it, one, it kind of flow a little better. If that one, flo- that's crazy. Yeah, it, it flowed better, but everything else was yeah, awful. Yeah. But um, <laughs> <It wasn't great. laughs> I mean, this this film is infinitely more enjoyable. But mm. like, I don't know. It just it felt like every scene was just going by. Super. The best scene of this movie for me was when it actually slowed the hell down and actually allowed the characters to <laughs> to like. Breathe, breathe, and that's the moment, and that you kind of see in the trailer with Risa Fons and that little uh, truck and that yeah. little car thing. That was my the scene I enjoyed the most, just because they were just, um, they they weren't like running around all over the goddamn place. Yeah. So yeah, go ahead, Dylan. Yeah, uh, Paul, did you have any thoughts? No. Before I went, okay. Um, yeah, uh, I I guess since we're all sharing our thoughts about the first two movies, um. I didn't quite care about the first movie when it came out. <laughs> like, I, I. It it it, it was uh it was totally just... fine. Well, like I, well, I like. Well, critics it. don't are not really fans of these movies. No, but and fans, I'm, but I'm, fans loved it. I'm anyway. more on the critics. They don't even side. care what critics say. Well, I'm more on was, the critics side with these. That was the thing. Uh, the general consensus that I was seeing when uh when Venom came out was um it was a lot of yeah it's all right. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's not great. It's not anywhere near what like the what MCU was doing at the time. Oh God, no! Like it, it was because uh, twenty eighteen, like, yeah, right. twenty eighteen, my opinion might have been like the Marvel's like peak year. Um, yeah, I mean Infinity War, Black Panther, even except for the Ant Man, the Wasp, <laughs> which I did not. <laughs> I have to I did not that care. movie. That was the, that was their that week. Don't. That was their <laughs> week. Really? Link that I, year. I, I, I didn't speak I, to one I person did not, that didn't like that movie. I did not care for that one. But I mean, yeah, coming from um, yeah, coming from the highs of that year and Spider Verse. Spider Verse also came out like a couple months after Venom. Yeah, yeah, and, and we incredible. Don't, yeah, um, and even Aquaman came out that year, and I really yep. enjoyed that. I I um, that. Yeah, loved it. Venom for me was just the real the weakest link that year when it comes to like the comic book movies. Yeah, um, I, I I could totally see that. Yeah, you're yeah. not wrong, I, but I no, still yeah, enjoy, no, but I, I still I, enjoyed I it. Now. Yeah, I like, I I do enjoy it. Uh, yeah, I, I, I do. Uh, um, it, but it, it's I don't know. It, it was all right. It's it's definitely grown on me the more that I've watched it, which I've only watched it like a handful of times. Um. But I was excited for uh, for Let There Be Courage. Yeah. With the exception of Woody Harrelson mm-hmm. being casted. <laughs> I was... Oh, yeah. Not that, I, really? not that I don't like him. He, I think that he... The post-credit scene scared the shit out of me with that first Venom. He was like, this is yeah. Cletus Cassidy with this fucking clown wig on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was oh, like, my okay, God. We're thank totally God they fucked. thank God they fixed that with Let yeah. There Be Carnage. Yeah, I was super nervous I, about I was that. laughing hysterically when that... Uh, the first time I saw the first Venom and that scene came up yeah. with, oh my god, I couldn't take it seriously at all. Yeah, the the entire and I love Woody role. Harrelson so much. Yeah, well, he, I think that he did well with the role in the second movie. I feel like I, I was a little surprised by that. I thought he he was having fun. Clearly, I just yeah. feel 
it, it didn't use him enough for me. No, no, um, that that, uh, that was my issue with Leatherby Carnage. Uh, mm-hmm. I I didn't like the villain in the first one. Yeah, uh, oh, I, it was I just so and a whole lot that's a good me. actor too, Riz yeah, Ahmed, yeah. and it, it was so boring. He did he was had no personality. Yeah, he was just like generic green yeah. businessman, and that yeah. was it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Leatherby Carnage. It, had, it had it had a like, lot more. Wasn't it had, there, but yeah, it had a lot. It had more, more self awareness of what it was, and that's yeah, why I, I enjoyed it more. I I wish that they would have just given him more screen time because mm-hmm. if they would have done yeah. that, I think that Leather B. Carnage would have been a better movie. Mm-hmm. Because and also, it, it was um, a case of like he he was just like constantly doing things. He yeah, wasn't really yeah, doing anything other than like killing people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and also Shriek was the side villain. Yeah, oh yeah. my god, she was. I hated her, and that's I love um, uh, what's her name who played her? Yeah, um, God damn it! Um, I love that actress. Completely wasted her, and she's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, and did not care for her, but overall, I thought Let There Be Carnage was enjoyable for me. Um, yeah, enough, yeah. enough at least. Yeah, I, I really <clears> liked <throat> it. Um, honestly, I think that's one of uh, that has one of my favorite third acts. The third and, act was and, fine. Uh, mm-hmm. In super uh, movies, well, it, it's it was better than the first, the third act in the first one because the third act in Venom One was so dark, yeah. and it, the both the symbiotes were black. Well, yeah. and I just couldn't really tell what was happening. It was yeah. I was just watching a bunch of CGI shit just glooping around, and I, I don't like that. <laughs> well, I well one of the things that like makes the third act of Let There Be Carnage better for me is the um. Interesting setting. It, yeah, the the setting, uh, uh, there was concept art that came out. I don't really want to say what the concept <clears> art was. <laughs> if you want to find out, go, go find out. But uh, uh, it showed a lot more of the thought pro- process behind that fight and, like, uh, symbolism and stuff like that. Right. It, it's super interesting. I recommend everybody go check it out. Um, but, like, that kind of heightened the end fight for me. I, I was like, there's... Uh-huh. Like, so much other shit could have gone uh, gone in here. They could have gone bigger. And this is what we got. Um, I mean, Matt, I don't know if you guys have ever read Maximum Carnage, but yeah. that that is a huge story, yeah. and I kind of wish that they took more advantage of that stuff. But you know, yeah, no, so well, uh, at this point, I'll take whatever I can get from Sony. <laughs> As long as long as it's like mm-hmm. hasn't been in development hell for yes. six seven years. Honestly, Craven the Hunter yeah. might be a masterpiece compared it, it to what be, they've yeah. been putting out. Yeah, yeah, I'm, a, I'm a little, I'm a little more excited for this movie after the second trailer. Which yeah, I was very surprised at that, and it's also because I play Craven the Hunter and, and uh, it's Mar- rated Marvel R, and it's too, which is an amazing video game. And it's gonna be so rated much. R. Yeah. They're not holding themselves back, which, honestly, in my opinion, Morbius and these Venom movies should have been rated R. And that's... Yeah, it should have been. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> but I, I could like have that's helped. A yeah, colossal oversight on their but part. Kids. I don't know. I don't know. They would help Morbius. Gotta but... get that kid money. <laughs> Venom. I guess. Yeah, sure. But no. Um. Go, going to last. Uh, last dance. I. It, it gave me the same general <laughs> feeling as the last two. Mm-hmm. Like, like uh, here, yeah. I like seeing the influence of the villain more throughout the movie. Um. Oh God! Which we'll, we'll we haven't talk even more gotten. We later. haven't even gotten into Null yet. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Oh, I'll get to that too. <laughs> but I, I, I like that we were seeing like what he was doing more throughout. You know, I guess. Like, like, like you could see like he was playing the game even mm-hmm. if he was as removed as he was. Um, I, I, I like that. Uh, um, I, I think that that was nice. That that was one of those things where it's like. That, the amount of effect that he had on the story should have been given to Carnage in the second movie. Because Carnage w- was basically just in the fucking background for most of it. Yeah, yeah, that's that was my one of my big problems with it. It was like, it doesn't seem like that. this is like that big of a deal. Yeah, it's not like linked <laughs> up whatsoever, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I, I like that they did the opposite here. Like, he was, like, like shit was in play. Like, he, he was mm-hmm. an active participant throughout. But it, it was it was. But nice. it should. I think it should have been more though. Like yeah, for what well, they were yeah. going for. But with how they're building, I I feel okay talking about this because this shit has been plastered on news sites for the past oh, like, yeah. two months. Um, but uh, they want to make him like the, the Thanos, big bad, and this was like Thanos at the end of Avengers. Mm-hmm. That. And yeah, like, that that's that's why I was okay with 
the screen time that he ended up getting. Uh, which I was surprised by that. <laughs> I genuinely, but uh, but for the rest of the movie, like uh, a lot of the same <clears throat> thoughts that you had, um, I I thought that the pacing wasn't great. <laughs> uh, we had like six minute scenes followed by like a twenty five minute scene by followed oh by three, God. and then like a six, and then another ten, and it's yeah, it was crazy. I mean, thankfully, thankfully this movie is like really short. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but it. It does feel like they tried to turn. All the movies like, are short. <laughs> yeah, but it, this one feels like they tried to turn like a two-hour and ten-minute movie into like an, a ninety-minute movie. Yeah, because it it just feels like they they want to make you think that a lot's happening, but none of it really feels like it's getting a lot of development. Yeah, I uh, I don't know. I it definitely feels that way. I, I I definitely agree with that. I'll say this: it's a harmless movie. There's it's not offensively bad like Madam Web was, or it's not like it didn't bore me as much as the first Venom did. It's mm. it's just a fine movie, and there's really not much else to it than that. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> it's fun when it cuts away from uh, uh, Tuttle and Juno. Uh, I it, just uh, could not give a shit less well, about like, them. I, I like Juno's character. Uh, like I thought she, that she was good. Like like the the way that they introduced her. Uh, and it was just it was so dramatic. weird to me. Uh, that whole thing was just weird well, to me. It was a dream sequence. It was. It was explaining. Uh, 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 but it. It's like. Uh, like it uh, what I. What character. I don't like. What I don't like about that is like. For me, it's better. Introduce like getting to really know a character better over the course of a movie instead of forcing all of their backstory into like the first moment you see them. That's what that's what I don't like about that. I was like if you want to maybe explore that character more like throughout the course of the movie, I it just feel if this movie feels very front loaded and that's one of my biggest problems with it. It's just like it feels like it has to force all the shit out in the first 20 minutes and I just feel like it they should have done it that way better. Um but that's me. <laughs> uh, I I don't know. I I liked it. I thought that was good. Yeah, that's I, fine. I, I, I like uh I like Reese Fonz in this. He I, was I, I don't I, know I really, why they casted him for in the first place. Like it just I guess it's just really confusing. Him and she what she would tell Edgy for. Yeah. Like it just I feel like that's just do, did you not have I feel like anyone else could have played that role aside from she would tell. I don't think he really brought anything to it that someone else could have. I mean, there wasn't a lot of material on the page for him right, anyway. Right. He was pretty two dimensional. Um, and it, I mean, Reese Vons was really good in this. Yeah. Um, I just, it just feels weird to me that they went with him, even though he was in uh another movie in this franchise. But whatever. I mean, <laughs> we, um, apparently it's not connected. I, I, I remember it seeing just, that. I I know it's not connected, but it just. It just seems weird to me. I just don't okay. really see the point of that. But he, aside from that, he's very good in this. Yeah, he, yeah. he 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 was he was one of the funnier mo characters in the film, aside from Eddie Brock and Venom. Yeah, I I, I want to get to one of my favorite because he had my favorite line delivery. In oh the yeah, movie. I know. I know. <laughs> I think I know what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I <laughs> he said that that was the biggest laugh of my theater. Mm -hmm. I, I yeah, it was great. Mm -hmm. Um. No, other than that, it it was really good. Um, I, I don't think there's a whole lot of other things I yeah. Can I think I got it. all my non spoiler thoughts out. Yeah, yeah. So, I so we can get more. I think dispersed. you're right. I, I will say my la my last thought before we get into spoiler territory. Sorry, uh, mm -hmm. is when you said that like it was a lot of Abin Cassell. You were right on the money. No, that's, that's exactly that's what, what it is, all these I movies, all three of these movies were. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I I really dug it. I I liked uh, I liked their dynamic in this one way more than all the other ones. It just felt more connected. I agree. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. It's got it gets better in each movie. Um, yes, yeah. Because I didn't it's really I didn't really feel that in the first one. I felt it more in the second. And in this one, I was like, okay, this is clearly what we're going for. So yeah, it's a trilogy of buddy cop turned lovers. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and to be fair. Tom Hardy is a better Venom than whatever they got in Spider-Man 3. Yeah. yeah. As it, it, much that's as I true. love the that's movie, true. that film is a mess. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's, yeah. a, it's, yeah. a, it's a beautiful and the, I don't mess. Like, and I don't like the Venom design in 3. He's just so scrawny. I, 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 I want, was Venom fine. should be 
big and Venom yeah. was kind of just pathetic in Spider Man three. Yeah. I thought the design um, was fine. Uh, and I, I and I don't like the, the roar and this is this is a nitpick. I don't like the roar either. It's just it sounds like a velociraptor either too. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't have weird. that menace yeah. it doesn't have that menace to it. Um but uh oh and one more thing um and I just thought of this what I wanted out of the first Venom movie when I originally saw it was the movie was actually in another movie that has nothing to do with it that gave me exactly what I wanted from Venom. And this is this comparison has been made a lot. In a, another 2018 movie, Upgrade. I don't know if you guys oh, okay. have seen this movie. It's uh, uh, Lee Whannell. Lee um, this movie, I saw that Upgrade, that. is awesome. It's so damn good. And it's everything I wanted the first Venom movie to be. Um, it's... It has that same kind of thing where it's a character who's talking to a voice in his head, mm. except instead of a symbiote, it's like a AI voice, yeah. and it's doing, it's making him stronger and doing uh, all the fighting for him and stuff like that. Um, it's it's like an indie kind of take on what Venom tried, and I feel like it upgrade was my type of Venom movie that I wanted. Yeah, like it's darker, um, it's R rated, it's gory, um, it. It has inter- more interesting characters. Um, if you haven't seen Upgrade, watch it. It's yeah. bad. I, I totally it's, should. It's great. I totally Lee Wan L's camera work, Chef's Kiss. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, but yeah, I think I read a post something about that. Like it's, that. I thought, it's huh, really that's it has a lot of similarities. I still have not uh, seen the film, which I definitely did. You should. see Upgrade, Paul? No. Ah. Uh, you, you would love it. It's awesome. Yeah, it, it, I, it's I think I would love it too. Upgrade's yeah. awesome. <laughs> I can't um, wait to watch that. More people need to watch that. Uh, I saw it in the theater too, and I was like, "People need to see this." And people in it, no one did apparently. Yeah. Now, oh. as we get into spoilers, here's the tricky yeah. part. What can we spoil? Like, Ho- hold how- on, hold on. Spoiler alert! Yeah, Spoiler just alert! Came out. <laughs> Spoiler alert! Three yeah, I mean, and three, three two, two, one. one. But yeah. what can we spoil though? Like I mean, what, Venom dies. Really what 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 Venom kind dies. of what kind of part are we getting here? Like it's another Venom craziness. That's but what it is. Does Venom die. No. They want you to think that, but like post credit scene. Uh, apparently, there's this. Okay, so in the in the third act of this movie, you get a whole bunch of symbiotes running around. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I, I am not heavy into the comics, so I don't know if these are like uh, other. Like from the comics, yeah, they these, are. They are a lot of them. Yeah. Um, like, what are some of their names? What's the green one? What's the green uh, one's name? I can't remember. Um, because I'm not, I'm not super the into the symbiote, symbiote family. Symbiote. But like, there's like four that roam around. Isn't there's isn't there a yellow one called like Scream yeah, or something? Yeah. I think uh, I that she was in there, she's right? Supposed to be Screech. Scre- or Shriek. I think Shriek is uh, in Venom too. I think uh, there's a yellow one just called Scream. I think, because um, we in the first one we had Riot. Uh, obviously, he's not in this. What is the, what? What? What happened? <laughs> what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I looked up Shriek Marvel, and it, it it's popping up with the Wikipedia for for the character, but it's got pictures of Shrek. <laughs> 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 that dude, dude, oh, I had to double my check what I fucking typed. I was like, that no is fucking hilarious. Way. Did I just see that? Did I literally that is just hilarious. fucking see okay. that? Oh, dude. Oh my god, great. dude. Okay. You know Shrek was a Marvel comics super villain. He should be. <laughs> but but yeah, can, but yeah, can we uh, can we get to the craziness yeah, part? Yeah. Like the one thing that. I need to get into the one thing that I find hilarious, which actually there are a lot more things that got me laughing, was where he was transforming animal venoms. Like that, that kind that, of thing that cracked me up. That got a little old for me after a bit. Um, <laughs> like honestly, like I like it, it's funny at first, and I feel like a lot of that was just shown in the trailer, and then they just kind of like kind of. It's most mainly done that one like action sequence with the horse, with the fish, with the frog, all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. I thought it was hilarious. The end credits had all the different v- symbiote animal designs, and I feel like they wanted to put those all in in the movie, and they're just like, uh, we don't. We'll have to put these all in the credits. Yeah, and, which, which is 
It was dope. It was cool. I liked it. It was uh, cool. Like a venomized elephant is badass. And a, uh, like a symbiote kangaroo or something. Yeah, yeah. Which, that was cool. Oh, yeah. I, and the I laughed when I saw the, and the yeah. Kangaroos yeah. are already terrifying enough. Yeah, yeah. I love kangaroos. <laughs> Wait, yeah. yeah. Fuck you up. <laughs> hey, Sony, that was yeah, the most opportunity. The, yeah, what's a the name of the elephant. green symbiote? See, yeah, that would have yeah, been uh, cool. A, right a venom now. elephant. I would have liked to see a, I would have liked to see a live action <laughs> venom <laughs> elephant shit, on the screen. That would have been cool. Uh but but I enjoyed it. I, I like the horse bit. The horse pit was entertaining. Yeah. Uh, toxin. Yeah. Toxin. That's yeah. Yeah, the toxin's it. name. Um But uh, yeah, that yeah, one that I, would just crack me up. <laughs> Yeah, the third act I thought was okay. Um, it, it's a standard like big CG heavy third act action sequence, but they do some fun stuff with it. Um, <clears throat> then, uh, uh, so the big danger that they have to fight in this are these uh, xenophages yeah. that uh, Noel sends out, and you basically they're basically unkillable. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Obviously. Like they try to kill these things uh, throughout the movie, and they uh, and they just can't stay down. Um, and then it takes like Venom to literally like um, symbiote, like turn into a giant symbiote and like yeah wrap around them into this big he, mess like, thing. Absorbed all, of and them. then like get like that. What was what was that green stuff? Like just acid? toxic waste or yeah, acid? It was acid, yeah. Um, and it it's supposed to make you think that that's the big ending for Venom, and it, I mean the until like the post credit scene that's what it that's one of the things I don't like about the ending of this movie is like it really I mean it really hammers that whole like it thinks it's like uh Furious 7 with this big like emotional mon- montage of like the clips from the previous movies with Maroon 5 playing over yeah. it's like uh, this is just so melodramatic <laughs> <laughs> um and I just didn't really care I I didn't I I'm not emotionally invested in these characters n- enough to have that whole like I'm it's not Furious 7 that this is not like an actor we're grieving over in in the character, you know. It just felt heavy. But of course there were me. two post-credit scenes, but I want to get to the other later cuz that's yeah. what I'm actually frustrated. One by. of them is just to me just pointless. I know. I'll get to the frustrating part of that one later and just, why it's stupid. Um but uh, but yeah, but there was that that one but that but the rest of it was just it's craziness all over the place. Okay, I don't know what to tell you throughout the entire time when I was watching the movie. Like, okay, the Venom's plan, or the villain's plan, excuse me, uh, how do all these symbiotes that actually be going on? Like, I wasn't expecting award-winning screenplay. Mm. <laughs> I was expecting I, I wasn't, dumb fun. I was not either, but you can... There's a way to do dumb fun well, and I feel like these movies are not, are not it. I, there's a way to do that well. Um, I just don't think. Um, I thought the acting was was the best one of the trilogy. Yeah, it's fine. I thought the um, acting was really good throughout the, throughout the old, all the actors. I mean, all these movies have good actors. I just feel like they waste them. Yeah. In in a lot of ways. Uh, the, um, the, the alien family. Really, the alien family. <laughs> they were great. They were I like that. Those are my favorite parts of this yeah. movie. Oh no, no, I um, said no. Easily. I was laughing at it because I enjoyed the characters. That's why I was just thinking. Okay. Really, That's we're going ki- to that part. I wish the entire movie was l- like the scenes with that family, like yeah. like a goofy, like quirky comedy. Yeah. But and a lot, like a the military part. shit, I could give a fuck less about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I don't care it, about it that stuff. It is a little stuff. cliche. Yeah. Like, why do I care? Why do I care so much about Juno Temple's character? Other than we got her backstory hammered that home. That seems to be very cliche in all movies. Uh, the it military just, parts. I just didn't care. Almost all the movies they and have military parts. Um, no disrespect to the people that served our country. We salute right, you. Absolutely. Right. No. Abs- that's not even the point I'm making no, no, here. No, 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 it's no. just I. They don't do enough to make us care about the that whole subplot. Yeah. Um. It, yeah, it, had me, no, I, I, it has nothing to do with, like, caring about the military. I don't care about that shit. It was just like, ugh. Um, Make the people interesting for Garrett. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not the just for me. But, um, <laughs> for <Garrett. laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, can we talk about Noel? Yeah. Um, just super disappointed. <laughs> this is what I expected. I thought it was fine. I mean, like this, oh like okay. with, with all the reports. First of all, of waste of Andy Circus. Be a big bad. I don't think it was a waste of Andy Circus. Mm-hmm. I mean, dude's the king of fucking uh, 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 motion capture. 
Yeah. Like, I'm glad it was Andy Serkis. I think he's got the fucking chops to pull off. And he Nolan. directed the last one, too. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I think he's great. Like, I don't think it was a waste here. Oh, boy. I was going to say this one for last, but if you're, if you're going to give me to know, uh, okay. This is where I'm asking myself, what the crap are you doing, Sony? Okay. Well, uh, I, I want to say for, uh, first, sure. this is different than what the comics is. Absolutely. Than what's in the comics. Like, yeah. This is different. Yeah. yeah. But but here here's my biggest issue I have with no and with the, the, the mid credit scene. Mm. Um, first off, you're setting up no to be the primary villain for the Sony universe, which, spoilers, he, uh, spoilers, he's the villain. Um, two things. Bare, num- uh, barely uh, as a presence, uh, Two though. things. <laughs> uh, number one, uh, no crap. Uh, secondly, I never heard of you, so I don't, I don't care. Um, so Only you also didn't like Gwen Stacy's death, so. <laughs> actually, actually, I, I, I know you've, you've changed. I know. Absolutely. I did. Mm-hmm. Uh, which does maybe to, to one thing at this point, I'm starting to think that the Sony universe, uh, what it was already a mistake to begin with. Like yes. the Venom movies, I thought they were totally watchable for, for what they were. Everything but, else uh, though, Morbius. Madam Webb. Yeah. Morbius was okay, but you already know how I feel about the other one. I thought I but, was uh, bored but, out but of my no, mind. Uh, this it was fun to laugh at. Uh, honestly, <laughs> I was, I'm not going to lie to you. The credits scene, I was very disappointed because there were two things I was hoping they were showing the post credit scene. Two of them. Mm-hmm. One was that Beyond the Spider-Verse was almost coming, which was a long stretch, but I was hoping for that. Or mm. the announcement of the Macy's Spider-Man 3. I was they're hoping for those it, two. I, feel like. I was hoping for least one of those two. Yeah, because they're dumb. And yet they, they, they said, guess what, guys? We have more coming in the Sony universe is no. Who? But Why, who's, who who's going to fight Who's gonna fight him, though? Like Exactly. Who cares? The Venom stuff is done, as far as we know. And apparently Tom Hardy said something. He wants to do like a Logan-style Venom movie. Yeah, which was that, weird. Cause that's he was like, not going to happen. We... You can't okay, first of all, comparing Venom with anything that Logan did, fuck off with that. Um, <laughs> we Logan was a character that we grew to love for like seventeen years. Yeah. And uh-huh. you're gonna compare that to freaking this Eddie Brock? Get out of here with that. <laughs> Tom Hardy, I love you, but yeah. that's never gonna happen. I thought the last dance was a Logan and Yeah, it's like Yeah, it was supposed to be. Tom <laughs> everything has said everyone has said this is gonna be the last movie yeah. with Tom Hardy as this character. What are s- just shut up? We don't. <laughs> I took it as like this is going to be the last Venom movie. But like, he I think he's coming back in other places. As Venom. But what's he going to do? I'd be on board with I that. I don't know. I'd be on board I don't with know, that. No, but I mean, uh, it, with, with that post credit scene, I think that Venom is returning to to Eddie. Uh, uh, somehow, I think he's going to find him, uh, uh, unless that unless they go with the fact that that's like Venom's just, like. This Baby, is, this is what I don't oh. like. This is what I don't like about comic book movies in general. I can never trust when the, the a character the characters never stay dead. And no, that's um just I never feel the stakes of that ever <laughs> when they try to do it. But um, uh, but yeah, but the but the whole no thing like Sony. I told you, in one of the episodes, you need to stop doing the Sony universe. After the Venom films, I at this point, Sony, you're not the MCU. Mm-hmm. You certainly were not the DCEU, even though it did have its faults uh-huh. for the DCU. <laughs> yep. But at this point, the DCU is a lot more forgiving than what Sony is doing. Like, if the No movie is not good, which honestly, I'm sorry, I am not confident in the No movie. It's going to be good unless I he's going to be confident at all. Uh, but if the No movie is not good. I'm tapping now. I'm so tapping unless he's going to be universe. like the villain in Spider-Man Four, which they've kind of rumored, like Noel's going to be involved in with the Tom Holland stuff. It was like, mm-hmm. I'm, how's that legally going to work out if like they don't, if they're I not really no allow? Clue. <laughs> so wait, just to clarify, did they announce a Noel solo movie? Or? I don't, I don't think so. I haven't heard anything. Okay, so I, there might have been a rumor a, not somewhere. Not solo but. one, but like so yeah, they, they've been saying that he's going to be like the big bad, like the, like the for, Sony for what Spider-Man universe. Though? That's like, how it's going to end. That's my problem with it. Is like for for what? Like exactly fucking Madam Web or Morbius? Oh God! Or well, they're going to continue introducing. Of course, of course not. Or but, Morbius. Yeah. Even though Jared Leto wants that so badly, but why though? Why? <laughs> why? 
Uh, but yeah, but, but, but just like, I'm I sorry to mean you, go ahead. Yeah, no, I, was, I was just going to say the only thing I can see logistically is, um, and I, I doubt they go this route, but Spider-Man 4 we know is coming out. Of course. That's my birthday movie. Mm-hmm. Um, for I can't. I, I can't. I can't freaking um, wait. Yeah, it's gonna yeah, be good. It's gonna Absolutely. Be really good. I hope. So. I it hope could so. be. Uh, the only well, thing. It, it sounds like it's being. It, it has the potential to already be my my number one favorite Spider-Man movie. When I already said that for the other newer Spider-Man movies, they've, I they've love got, those that much. They've got a high bar to set after No Way Home. Mm-hmm. So. But I yeah. bet. I bet. I bet they could do it. But anyway, go ahead. Um, I feel like that that is the most obvious choice. But, but we don't know that for sure yet. Yeah, if he, right. If that's even going to happen. Either way, I, I think that it, as of now, it seems to be the most logical choice. And then, you know, possibly even Tom Hardy showing up there. But um, without the Venom, because it's, I don't, oh my God, my head hurts they thinking about it, this. <laughs> they have made it way too confusing by yeah. having two separate universes. Yeah, yeah. It's, this whole thing is yeah, just a The whole Sony Universe thing, man. it was just such a stupid the idea. The only thing that with. really has worked with their, their this universe are these Venom movies. And the, the, I, are, I guess they're just not going to happen now, or they're going to just retcon everything. Yeah. Which is going to be stupid. Which actually, I have a, I had a, I have a suggestion. Okay. Instead of Null being the main villain for these Sony Universe movies, which, which again, if the Null movie is not good, I'm done with the Sony Universe movies. I'm not watching another one after this. Like, boom, I'm done. Well, there might not be any more after that. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> but I'm not sure if it's even gonna happen now. I mean, well, if I this don't know. if this Venom movie. If this, if the Last Dance has legs, which I doubt it will, I think last. it will. It made 175 million. So. so, I I have trouble believing that this even makes 500 million. Because I I think you, it, I think it will. I don't I, I think know. it will. Um, I just feel like, um, because audiences are not as enthusiastic about this one as they were with the other two. Um, giving off, coming off the cinema score, which is like a B minus. And the other yeah. two got like a B plus. Not terrible, but that not is not where well. you want to be for like a mainstream comic. No, film. not really. Um, but uh, but yeah, but I will... and it's it's only it's a grade only a one grade above Morbius and Madam Web, and that's not where you want to be either. Well, at least he's um, got a better grade than those two films. So. Barely, <laughs> barely. Um, but um, but yeah, but what what I was going to say was, I mean, if you're going to make another villain movie, which there's more funny scenes in the Venom movie, I want to get. Too. Uh, but if you're going to make a villain, villain movie, I have a suggestion. Mysterio could be interesting. But they already did Mysterio. Well, I want to see a Mysterio origin movie. That's gonna I be been, so. Com- that that's one. gonna be so confusing to people. It's, not I mean, for me. <laughs> I rather. But watch you're not that. the. You're not the casual. You you're a hardcore fan. You're not the casual viewer. You right. Know? Right, but I'm just saying I would rather prefer Marvel villains that I would recognize over Null, like any day. Like maybe do an origin story of Green Goblin. That could work too if they wanted to. Well, we but that. but the the thing is with this universe, like they're putting something together. They have to have a big bad. The big bad can't be like somebody who's on the same level as everybody else that's yeah. already gone in a movie. That that's that's where they're uh, just... bent over a barrel. Is because like there's yeah. no like big bags that they have exclusive rights to other than Noel. Yeah. Like Noel is a Venom villain. It's not a Spider Man villain. It's a Venom villain. Like like this like Okay. Legit that, I was that's his villain. Aware of that. I was unaware of that. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah, the, yeah. It's a full fucking thing. Like the King in Black was the storyline in the comics. Yeah. Which uh, I just want to say for a second, like I, I'm a little yes. bummed out that we're not gonna get the uh get him arriving to earth the way that we did in the comics yeah they ca- they really kind of screwed themselves up with this well like the, the comics it's um it, it he started in uh or like his like the the coming of noel began in um uh, the thor 2020 series and it had this it was and called apparently the that's Winter. where gore the god butcher got his sword from canonically speaking not the 2020 series Oh, okay. no, no, yeah, no, because it was an Echo Sword. Yeah, I yeah, read yeah. That it, it was it was uh, made by uh, by Noel. Um, it, it was one. Of, I think that, that was the first creation. Mm. Uh, I, I can't remember, but it, it was the it was called the Black Winter because this like 
void of blackness was reaching out to to worlds like the entire multiverse Mm -hmm. and it was decaying them and it was really cool in the comics and again like i i know it's not going to happen because this would never fucking happen Mm -hmm. but like in in the comics there was like 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 to show how grand this threat was they showed the world of dc comics being destroyed no like like legit like, like they showed the the red blue blur flying through the sky past like the the news building with a like golden ore on top, <sighs> the red street going through the the streets and stuff like that. And they 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 both reference each other in the comics like all the fucking time. Yeah, but um, it, it bones me out because like it was showing you how big of a fucking threat this guy is. Like, I didn't this, really. This, feel this guy's the a th- big bad. I didn't feel the threat much in this movie. No, to because be it, 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 yeah, th- uh, that that's what I'm saying. Like reading reading the comics when when yeah. you're introduced, like to like this dude is gonna fuck in, shit up. In a movie form, you have to work a little harder to show that menace than yeah. how the comics would. We just this was the taste of it. This was like like because like this uh, it was basically like oh well, all he can really do is send these fucking creatures out. Yeah, that, that's all he can like, do. We didn't see anything else that Noel can do. Yeah, the yeah, dude that's my problem. Up. We, other than sending those things out, what else can he do? It didn't. It doesn't show it. Well, I mean, it's because he's imprisoned. I mean, he can't go anywhere else. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So, so like, he was super limited in the movie. That's what. That's why I'm okay with I, it. I, I, think, that, like, I, think, I understand the criticism. I think yeah, my, yeah. my, I think my head's gonna hurt. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's Sony, just... you are confusing me at this point. Oh my I, fuck. Like, <laughs> other, I'm gonna see how Craven is. Other than that, I could give a fuck less about this whole universe. Well, I just, I just they're I'm gonna with you persist. There. Yeah, they're gonna continue with what they're, they're gonna doing keep because trying they until... got Morbius, which failed twice. <laughs> yeah, twice. <laughs> which, let's, why let's in remember the world? That. <laughs> why in the world I'm did surprised. they release this movie in theaters? Why? It's I'm so surprised. dumb. I'm honestly surprised they didn't try that shit with Madam Web. Yeah, same, how, same. Because of how much, <laughs> because of how much people were memeing on like the the Amazon River, that yeah. whole thing. I was like, yeah. But, but I can't remember that quote. I, I wish I could. <laughs> they're it smarter just... than they they were smarter than I gave them credit for. Yeah, they learned their lesson. <laughs> mm-hmm. I I were I was working at uh, an AMC theater when. When Morbius came out, and oh. when the fucking re-release happened, and no opening night, literally <laughs> one or two people showed up to it. Dude, it Honestly, now I kind of like now I kind of wish we had that Sinister Six movie from from. <laughs> I from would Sony. honestly take that over what they're yeah, doing. Yeah, exactly. Right now. I, I, I mean, and I watched the Amazing Spider-Man too. I watched it last week. And I love it even more when I. Uh, I, st- I still don't think that movie's good. Oh, but, I think it's awesome. Um, I think for me, it's an underrated I mean, comic masterpiece. I love that movie a lot. I started to love and appreciate this movie a lot more, even with the Gwen Stacy stat. It got me more emotional than it got me angry. So, that I get credit to for that one. Mm. But, but Sony, they butchered this three times. Well, it's been more than three times now. Yeah. With. They tried to set up a Venom movie after Spider-Man 3, which made no sense. He died at the end of Spider-Man 3, so what the fuzz was that? Uh, symbio. But... Well, still. Something and then, happen. of course, they tried to set up Sinister Six after Amazing Spider-Man 2 when they announced it before the film comes out. Yeah. That was dumb. Mistake. Which... Yeah. And they were getting... Oh, oh, does Sony. anyone else oh, remember gosh. when they were trying to seriously do an Aunt May movie? <laughs> I... Fr- I totally forgot what about the that. Seriously, Wait, Paul, what? that's a real that's, thing. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. They to make Sony was trying to do a <laughs> dead serious an Aunt May movie, an Aunt May <laughs> spinoff I, movie. I, I thought it was a joke at first. I was like, no, it's real. <laughs> and how how does anyone defend Sony? How does anyone defend Sony? Oh, I'm well, serious. Oh, exactly. Well. I'm, I'm not, you I'm, won't yeah, catch me doing it. That was my it, reaction too. Deserved. <laughs> they get everything that they deserve. You can respond. Go ahead. You have, you have no words. How do you feel, Paul? Completely flabbergasted. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yep. His reaction, like that. Exactly. Which Aunt May? Uh, I think the Sally Field yeah, one. Yeah, I was from, gonna uh, say Amazing Spider-Man and great actress. Not the right choice for Aunt May, in my opinion. I, no. I really like yeah, her. I, she was I really I liked, liked her. Yeah, as Aunt I liked May. her too. Yeah, um, I thought she was great. I, I thought she was the bet a good balance between the Rosemary Harris one and uh, Marissa Tomei. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, Sam. Yeah. 
But uh, if but it would have yeah. been Rosemary Harris, I probably would have still at least watched it. <laughs> if they oh, would have made the, the movie yeah. about her, I got I gotta <laughs> get I gotta get like it's a, like like it's trying to be like an Oscar like drama without any literally any superhero shit. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what? what? Where would they have even? Where, where would I that d- have gone? Yeah, just no I don't one think knows. they really removed the superhero aspect. Like we see Peter show they up just, a couple times. They but just, it's just see for life. IP. That's all they see. Just, <laughs> yeah, that's all they see. They don't give a shit about anything like that. So, oh, oh no, no, it's a uh, what? Here's an idea. They make the Ant May movie, but <laughs> it's about Ant May and Uncle Ben before the accident. And the movie ends with the accident. <laughs> that sounds like it, it comes from Sony, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, does anyone I, remember? By the way, does anyone remember the Max Steel? There was a Max. Oh Steel movie. yeah! I I never I, had to see it. This movie played in theaters. Yeah. And it looks so horrible. I didn't. I didn't. See I didn't all of it. it. I just saw. I think I saw like half of it. Yeah. Because yeah. I was working at the theater at the time. Oh my god! Literally, it's like it literally is like this Max Steel movie. Um, imagine if they made a Spider Man movie where Peter's just do fucking around for like like two acts of it. The third act, he gets bit by the spider, and then the last ten minutes is him actually being Spider Man. That's what Max <laughs> Steel is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Shut, Fuck. Matthew. Shut. Fuck he said it's a great movie. No, it's not. It's awful. I, I just looked at. Uh, I was about to faint on the floor. It, looks, and it actually was the made poster by Sony, is awful and thank too. Thank God it wasn't. The poster is awful too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah but I um, want to get to one more quick thing, and then we'll get to our scores. Uh, well, I, mean, we, I have we, something. Uh, one more thing to bring too, yeah. up too, but go ahead. Okay. Okay. Um, Oh my gosh, the dancing queen sequence. <laughs> that was that, that was fun. It was yeah, fun. I, liked I enjoyed that, that, that scene too. It was great. I mean, Venom and also that lady, Miss Chen, that, Mrs. Chen. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, but that dancing scene she's, it was so she's fun. Actually literally the random side like extra character that is usually tossed like not even mentioned in most superhero movies is one of the bright spots of this trilogy yeah yeah that's yeah. how sad this is yeah <laughs> but uh but but that's all i have to say and sony you are a pain in the butt seriously <laughs> i can't stand you right now are, are you still so bitter because you don't have the rights to Spider-Man anymore? Is that why you're so bitter and making this Sony even universe? Though, even though what they the literally fudge just, are you doing? Even though they in the post credit scene of Carnage, they literally showed Tom Holland Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. Missed opportunity for him to fight against Spider-Man. And then, I, I think it's bullshit and then that, that they changed whole, that shit. And then in the this whole movie. thing meant nothing. Yeah, yeah it, it meant, meant absolutely nothing. Changed it. It. And that's what I thought seeing the trailers for this scene she would tell Edgy for because he's obviously um, Baron Mordo and Doctor yeah, yeah. Strange. It was like, is this like a alternate I, I, version of, Do- of Baron Mordo or something? And like, he's, yeah, I thought that it was just going to be a like multiverse variant or something. But, no, I'm it's not. No, I know. It's I not know. at all. Um, yeah, like yeah. In <laughs> case you were wondering if that scene in No Way Home with the post credits meant anything, it didn't. So nope. Don't no, get your not. hopes up. Not no, yet. no, that does no, that doesn't matter. No, that's not connected because he didn't. He wasn't in uh, in the MCU in the in uh, when he had that scene. He wasn't in the MCU. He was in the Venom universe. Oh my god! The symbiote was this still left in No Way Home. No sense. It's just the symbiote <laughs> it was doesn't also make any there sense. In, uh, in the other home universe. Hey, Venom it was said, like a leftover piece. Venom still wants to fight Spider Man. I'd be on four, but but I have a suggestion. They're not gonna Kim, do that, Kim, man. No, they, they're giving him the symbiote. They're yeah. giving it to him. I want to see get fight, it in Secret I want to see him fight against Andrew Garfield, Spider Man. I, as far as I would love to see Tom That would Holland, be them if they were actually smart. I'd be excited smart. for more amazing yeah. Spider-Man content if they that do that. That would be them if they okay. were actually smart. And, well, guess what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, We oh need Amazing God. Spider-Man Man, 3. <laughs> I wish I could, I wish I could I, get the I middle would, finger to you, Sony, but I can't do that. I would love to have that right <laughs> oh, now. God. I'm never going to get it. No, unfortunately not. Um, uh, one more thing about why I hate the pacing of this movie so bad. The Sony logo comes up in this movie. Um, then it cuts to a, like a super quick scene of Noel without any buildup at all. Tell, literally telling us his plan in like 30 seconds. It goes to the Marvel logo. And then it tells – this is what I hate about screenwriting. This is terrible screenwriting, by the way. 
they literally tell us Null's plan in this brief little opening scene, and then we get a scene later on with Venom and Eddie telling us exactly what they just told us in that opening scene verbatim, like they did tell us this twice. Yeah. If you're going to tell us something, do not tell us this twice. Screenwriters. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I hate that shit. You know what it felt like to me? It felt like a teaser trailer for an upcoming no movie. Seriously. That's yeah. what it felt like. Why was that there? I didn't, I didn't think. Why was that opening scene there? I don't. That had no business being there at all. I, I will say, I one thing that I do appreciate about like that, uh, uh, I, I like the imagery that they use for the codex. Yeah, oh. whatever. <laughs> well, I, I like it because in in the comics, uh, the b- before uh, before the King in Black, before that storyline, yeah. like Noel arrives and all that shit, um, Carnage steps up his fucking game, and he actually starts removing codexes from people's spawn. Like 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 in the comics, it's um, if a symbiote bonds with you, you have a codex. It's just like built into the DNA of your spawn. And so, like, he was going around, and he was, like, ripping people's spines out Mortal Kombat style. And he was stealing their codexes to become more powerful. And Venom in the I Venom like, is kind of stupid in this movie for transforming at just the worst times and yes, getting agreed. himself in trouble with that. Agreed. Like, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, also, Paul, if you ever... What I said about that screenwriting thing, telling us shit twice when we... When once is enough... If you do, if you do that in one of your scripts, I'm gonna get mad at you. I'm gonna tell you about it. <laughs> I, bet. I can do it three um, times. Just try me, bitch. <laughs> make it four. <laughs> if, if, if there's any, if there's any one person that said, "Oh no, actually, met something to the plot of this movie." No, it did not. You what? are absolutely it's crazy. It, he does, but it's. I mean, Noel's fingerprints were the entire conflict of the movie. He hardly did much, though. In that. He just yeah, but it was his creations. It was his fingerprints for the entirety of the movie. Yeah, it, it's the same thing as as like Thanos. Uh, Thanos was partially behind the fucking attack in uh, in the first. Avengers. But it, it's the same but thing. The the event, but the Avenger, the first Avengers movie didn't show Thanos throughout the movie. No, though. I know, I know. I, I Loki I, was purely the main villain and Yeah. It was I have so was... much pain right now with Sony. I'm having a th- there's a there's a new disease now. It's called the Sony disease. And that's what it is. And <laughs> it's another a Sony thing, disease. This movie these movies don't even compare to the quality of the first Avengers movie. So um, well, uh, I, I'm no, just, I'm just saying it's it. Uh, aside, from I can the fact see that where Noel you're coming from, but all, uh, there's yeah. there's differences. There's major differences. It, it's, so. it's the fingerprints. Like like the impression is there. Like he is there. It's just like third party. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, but this, here, but here's the good news though. Andrew Garfield said so he is interested in doing more Spider-Man movies. But it's probably gonna be in the Tom Holland stuff, like as like how they did in No Way Home. It, they're not gonna do more movies with him at Sony. It's going to be for, like, the MCU. I, 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 I believe they will. It's going to be in Secret Wars and all that stuff. It's I, I, not gonna I believe be... they will. I think I think they'll get it done, I and, highly... then, and, then they, and then they'll do it. And I'd be on board uh, Amazing it. Spider-Man 3, do you think they'll do? I believe they will. I believe they will. No. I, I think def- there's a chance of it. I don't think there's a high chance of it. <laughs> Possible and probable are two different things. Yes. Yes. Well, I pray that Sony... I feel like you're right. having... Blind optimism is what you're having right now. I'm just saying it's admirable. Yeah, yeah. But I'm uh, which uh, how how Hollywood companies work. Yeah, highly improbable. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I, I, we're more likely to get Toby Spider-Man four than that. I yeah, think. yeah. I, uh, you know yeah. what? I'd be on board with that too. Yeah, I think that oh, they no, all I, deserve I wanna, one I more. I want to be fine with that one. Yeah, yeah. But uh, well, God, Tom Tom God Almighty, we might we might. So. Look God almighty, we might as well get those scores that before things get chaotic. Go ahead with your <laughs> This score. is going to turn into a meme after all of the reactions and all these polls on him. Because you can see, people, my mind is so confused at this point, and I just can't stand Sony's word business. Y- your reaction to the Aunt May movie is going to go viral. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> John's or mine? Yours. Yours. Because yours, yours is you, so You speechless. had no idea that this was a thing. I didn't. I, I knew about this it. in 2014. This was a this was a thing around the time that Amazing Amazing Spider-Man 2 came out. Before the movie even came out. Like I'm serious. They're yeah. that clueless. They're yeah. that inept at what they but do. But then again, I'd rather watch anime the movie over a no film 
or anything like no, that. But I, I would not. I would why? not. Uh, why? Very because curious. because this Sony universe is completely stupid, and this one had a lot more promise. Now, after what they're doing this year, and oh god, the <laughs> so what you're saying is the enemy of my enemy is my friend what you're saying yes <laughs> yes absolutely <laughs> okay the sony was not being done uh, back in 2014 God. then they are now okay mm. anyways on to the scores uh go ahead with yours yeah mm. uh even though it's not it's not the greatest movie i still give it for entertainment value i still give it a full 10 even though it's not perfect jesus christ <laughs> I'm giving it full ten. It doesn't okay. matter. Hate me okay. all you want. I, I don't. don't I don't choice. hate you. It's yours. Yeah, that's it's your just, score. And that's how God, much you enjoy. You and I movies. are so different, man. I know. You I have know. to have a weighted medium. It can't just be enjoyment. Oh, I enjoyed it. I. I no, tried to let make... him just score it how he wants. Yeah, exactly. That's fine. That's I'm not. Movie would be ten out of ten. It doesn't matter. Not that's how every, he wants to score. I didn't give every movie a ten out of ten. I gave Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice of the Night, and a half. So not a full ten. So I didn't get. I didn't get so much. I loved it. I mean, it like enjoyment level, but I can. I, that movie has flaws, but yeah, I. You can see I why lo- I disliked I, it. I can see I, why you liked yeah, it. Yeah, I love. Yeah, and I love. I love the original. And yeah, yeah. What, but anyway, but, yeah. I mean, there's a difference between giving a letter and a number grade. If like, and, and like an entertainment value, it's a full ten for me. If I was, if I was enjoying myself, and I did enjoy myself, so there you go. <laughs> That's why I give it a full. I and, look more at like the more objective quality is like i as 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 much as people like to tell you that art is subjective there is a lot of truth to that yes but like there art shouldn't just be entirely looked at as subjective there's techniques to it there's objective qualities and there's there's been years and years of practice in uh in all this stuff to make it what it has become and there, there's a reason why so many people use third third x structure and three x structure and all that stuff because <laughs> it works um and i just feel like these movies just do not do it for me at all and i just and i'm like i said i don't hate this movie and for my grade i'd give it like a five out of ten um there's stuff to be enjoyed in it it's just there's so many stupid things in this movie that should have been looked at um and i just uh, i for being like the epic conclusion that they probably wanted for this trilogy i, I just couldn't care less so yeah yeah i'm sticking with a five okay um i don't know i liked it i i liked a lot of things that they did with it um i i I definitely see all the flaws. Um, or, well, I don't see all the flaws, but uh, uh, I see the major flaws. Um, and mm-hmm. I agree, they are major flaws, and they definitely uh, damage the movie. Um, but overall, I, I did really like this. Um, honestly, I like to just remember the Venom plot of the movie. Like, mm-hmm. I, I, I thought it was great. That was my favorite part. Like I, I, I thought that those were the highlights. Eddie, oh. we need more money. <laughs> <laughs> I like this machine. <laughs> <laughs> just like flap the head. Oh, that's I, liked, yeah, that I liked. I liked awesome. all that. I liked all the all that those parts. Those yeah. dumb, those dumb stupid parts yeah, that yeah. were funny to me. No, I I liked it a lot. Venom genu- oh. Venom Venom genuinely had a lot of like gut busting lines. In yeah, this yeah, thing. he did. <laughs> <laughs> what he put? I like chocolate. <laughs> No, Venom was actually funny. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh, man. <laughs> burn. fucking burn, burn bitch! What? You missed it. Never I, mind. I, I, I said to Garrett, I said, um, "How did I say it? it, it uh, does Venom put Matthew to shame?" And he said, "No, Venom is funny." <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, ha, bitch. Ha, ha, <laughs> ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Matthew's reaction was going that he was going. <laughs> gotcha. Sorry, Matthew, but, but the facts are facts. Are facts. <laughs> D's nuts. Got him. <laughs> oh, yes. Hey, Matthew. <laughs> uh, um, and Batman, you can and Rob- squirt- hey, Batman and Robin is more funnier than you two. When the time, <laughs> hey, when the time comes, you hey, can squirt me. That's going too far. When th- you could uh, squirt me for the squirt bank. Yeah, because you only have like one or two points. I, yeah. I think, yeah. But anyway, what's your, what's your score? Go ahead. But what's your score? score. I think if I had to give it a score, I would give it 16 out of 19 Venom inches. 
or I'm oh, sorry, 16 out of 19 inches of venom. <laughs> Miss Chen would 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 definitely take all 19 though. Mm. Wow. So that means you liked it. Yeah, I no like I I just like double what my regular score would have been eight. No, I liked it. Yeah. It hey, was good. there we go. I, I I'll take it. that. I'll take eight. <laughs> Oh man! But I want—I had 19. to make a reference. This is the only opportunity I'm going to be able to make a reference to that fucking tweet from IGN. Wait, I missed this. What? Okay, oh. so when when Spider-Man Two was releasing, they released a special edition with uh, with a st- or they released a statue of Venom okay. from the from the game or supposedly from the game. Uh-huh. But when they said it, oh nice, they said. Would you take 19 inches of venom? <laughs> or, 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 like, to some degree, that's what they said. Like, it was worded similar. Superman is coming in Supergirl. Yes, it, it was like that. It was one of those. Yeah. Um, mm. And then IGN had to fucking remove it. <laughs> and so everybody was making jokes. I think that later there was another statue that came out that was like 22.75 inches of venom or something like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. But yeah, no, I I liked it. Eight, uh, eight out of ten, four out of five, <clears throat> sixteen out of nineteen inches. However you want to take it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't want to take I can't, it. I can't. I, I can't. don't think that <laughs> I can take it because it took so long to make it. And I can't. Never I can't wait. To, I'm sorry, again. guys. I didn't mean to I call can't this. wait to watch this back so I can see that review. Yeah. Are we trying to behave ourselves? Man. Hey, you guys made it worse. I, w- I was true. still being relatively clever. Yeah, S- relatively. But but then oh again, boy. though, if, but then again, if Matthew saw the movie and he said all the venom puns, it would make the review actually be worse. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching. Uh, so last thing I'll s- uh, shut up. Last thank thing I'll say about uh, this movie: if you loved the first two, I think you'll like this a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. This, this Clearly, on I the did. Feel. Yeah, absolutely. Clearly, but I did. thank you so much for watching yeah. and uh, listening, Matthew. As the uh, su- uh, the other superhero expert, do you want to close it out? Since you had no presence, okay. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you so much. Are you much. still gonna see this movie? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. You said okay. Tuesday, ladies. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Uh, to to our to our uh, certain swing dudes out there, Matthew will be at the theater Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and listening <laughs> of all this chaos and also bashing Stony at the pieces. We hope you enjoyed that. It. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you comment down below what you think of the movie. We'll have to hear your thoughts on it. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Threads, on Facebook, on Instagram, which thank you so much followers for following us. Yeah. Uh, please go check out our channel. we got more fun content very soon. November is almost coming, and we got Man. big things coming up next month. We can't October, wait. October, where'd you go? I know, it's <laughs> crazy. Um, but yeah, we're about to start our recording and uh, whatever we do our uh, scooby-doo thing it will be uploaded to this as well so that's all i have to say so anybody else have to say before we sign off potato potato there you go <laughs> that's how we're in it <laughs> god bless right, you guys. i want the ant may movie now <laughs> right, happy see. spooky season everybody god happy bless spook. we have been the cinema asylum podcast you guys were awesome! Thanks for coming out! Good night!